Okay, problem number two, if we could think about this like repeated addition, you know, um, 7 times 2 could be 7 added to itself twice, 7 plus 7. That same thing as 7 times 2, so it's 14. Now, I'm going to skip B for a second, go to C and D. So, what if this was 7 times negative 2? Well, I can reverse these things. Now, let's say that's negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus negative 2 plus negative 2 plus negative 2. I think that's 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if I add all these up, I'm going to get 14. But I got all negatives. So it's negative 14. And the same with the next problem. If I had negative 7 plus negative 7, that's going to give me negative 14. Now here's where it gets tricky. If I'm multiplying by negative number, you can say uh, you could say that's like subtracting, but it's going to be the opposite of what I was doing here. So I'm going to end up with a positive answer. That would be like uh, no, I don't even know if I want to try to do a repeat an addition with that but it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to have a positive 14. So attempt to do the rest of those, okay?